Well, I'm heading on a loop today. I'm gonna try and find a couple geocaches. There is supposedly a geocache at the top of every one of these high points right here, going up to about maybe three or four small peaks that way, and then across to a couple coming back down the other side over there, but maybe a quarter mile south of here. But that's the canyon right back in there, old 366. So, if, if I can make it. You know, I'm gonna have to get a a GoPro, a GoPro camera or some damn thing so I can put it on the, the side of my bean head. Uh, it'd be a lot easier than carrying a big ass camera in one hand. Although, this one has a zoom on it. This is kind of a tough hike. Cause I'm walking uphill here, I would say at about a, a 30 degree angle. On the first uh, cache, geocache, it was a, a small bison tube hanging in a, well, it was right over this lip right here, this ridge, about 60 feet that way. Uh, found it, signed it. But I'm going, and, and this was called, the name of this cache was called a rest stop. And it actually was a good spot for a rest right here. But the next one, it's one tenth of a mile that way. Uh, and that one is supposedly an ammo can. You know, usually when I'm climbing up this stuff, or crawling, I should say, up this stuff, I, I always have a pair of earbuds in. You know, I'm usually listening to, you know, music, radio, whatever. But uh, uh, I, I keep wondering, you know, if the next place I put my hand into is going gonna, is gonna, is gonna to be a rattlesnake in there, which I couldn't hear because of my earbuds. But uh, I, I'm just hoping that a rattlesnake isn't dumb enough to be stuck up on the side of this thing right here under some rocks. Because first of all, he would have to crawl up, it, up to here to get to it. Jeez. But the next cache, it's 300 some feet that way, probably in back of that. That big rock precipice right there. <sighs> Luckily I have about three bottles of water with me. And that's I-40 right there going through it to Harris Canyon. <sighs> right up in here, there's a trailhead which starts right in there somewhere. I think it's right in there. It's Which goes up into the Sandias which is over the, this ridge right here. Not sure how much further I'll get beyond this next one. We'll see. Oh, I have to say that I have, I have run into a couple diamondback rattlesnakes over the years doing this stuff. Uh, luckily, I've seen them ahead of time, or heard them. But uh, I was almost bit once. Uh, but I lucked out on that one too. Uh, but usually, you know, I, nowadays what I try and do is. If I'm crawling through an area uh, similar to this, I, I try and have some type of deal with me where I can make a little noise, especially if I'm going to be crawling with handholds and crevices and stuff like that, because you never know, as I found out a couple times. Ugh. <sighs> 
And here we are at the first, I guess you could say this was the first uh, high spot right here along this series of ridges or ridges. Like I said, they had, they're calling this the loop because every one of these high points on top of these high points have a, apparently a geocache on them. But the second one here should be right up here. Is a cache right up here about 30 feet and this cache it's called well he called it sin city retrospective not sure what that meant other than he said that 590 miles 591 miles west that way is las vegas uh sin city uh, oh there it is right there it's yeah there's an ammo box. <laughs> Sin City Retrospective. It even has a bunch of uh, uh, Las Vegas little items. Las Vegas shot glass. Yeah, there's the log signing sheet right there. And there's my my Garmin uh, Oregon 450T uh, GPS unit. Well. So I found that one. A lot of good hiking up here. The rest of this doesn't look as tough hiking as that part right there was coming up here. And here's my contribution to this cache. A giant penny. <laughs> oh, and here's my lunch. A delicious green chili cheese bagel. Well, I found the next geocache. It was hanging in this bush right here. Here's the log I signed. I don't know if you read my name right there. Right there, out of focus. I think I'll take the easiest way back downhill. There's one more up here. I don't know, should I go, I go get it? I'm pretty tired right now. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I'll decide in the next five minutes after a drink of water. And here's the geocache on the northern, northern section of this peak right here. This is what the highest one right here in this whole group. And, oh yeah, right over here. It was a decon box hidden under a tiny pinyon tree right here. Decon box. I can't actually find many of these around anymore. This cache was found, uh, it was called uh, uh, Lonely No More. I guess Lonely on this peak. Decision point. <laughs>